Hey guys, uh, hopefully everyone had a great week. So today we will look into an important financial ratio called the interest coverage ratio or ICR. This is a measure of solvency for a company and it indicates how easily a company can pay the interest on its outstanding debt for a period of time. Now this ratio is calculated by dividing a company's earnings before interest and taxes, that is EBIT, by its interest expense for a particular period of time. This ratio is also known as times interest earned or TIE as this ratio actually indicates how many times of your interest payment you are actually earning for a period of time. The higher is this number, the better is the financial situation of the company. In this video, we'll go over how to calculate and interpret this ratio. And we'll also discuss two real world examples, Hearts and Coca-Cola. And you'll see how the car rental company Hearts was actually struggling since 2018 in paying their interest and ultimately went bankrupt in 2020. So let's start. So uh, in calculating the interest coverage ratio, we need to find out a company's earnings before interest and taxes, that is EBIT. Uh, and we also need to know the interest expenses for a period of time. And you can find these numbers uh, at the income statements of a company. Now let's take a look at a typical income statement for a company. So you have the revenue at the top line if you subtract all the operating expenses for the business, you typically get the earnings before interest and taxes, that is EBIT. So this is the earnings available to pay the interest and taxes, and whatever is left after uh, that goes to the shareholders as net income. So that's one way to calculate um, EBIT and also find out the interest expense. Another way to calculate EBIT is uh, simply to add taxes and interest payment with the net income. You'll get these numbers from the 10K statement of a company or from the quarterly reports. Uh, but I think more conveniently you can get these numbers from Yahoo Finance as well. Now by simply dividing EBIT by the interest expense, you will get the interest coverage ratio ICR. Now let's take a look at a more uh, realistic example with some numbers. So here, uh, for a hypothetical company, we have a revenue of $100 million. And if we subtract all the operating expenses, which in this case is $70 million, we get the earnings before interest and taxes of $30 million. And that's our EBIT. So that money is available for paying the interest and paying the taxes. And whatever is left afterward goes to the shareholder as net income. So in this case, the net income is $10 million. So the way you calculate the interest coverage ratio is you simply take the EBIT of $30 million and you divide it by the interest payment of $10 million and you get the number three. So this number three of interest coverage ratio basically indicates that you are earning three times more of your interest payment. In this case, your interest payment is $10 million and you're earning $30 million before paying interest and taxes. Now, this means that the company has some room to pay the interest payment. Um, for some reason, if the earnings go down next year, uh, the company will still be able to pay the interest payment. So the higher is this number, uh, the better is the financial situation for the company. That's the idea. Now we will analyze the interest coverage ratio uh, for Hart's car rental company and see what actually went wrong for them since 2018. So in 2018, their earnings before interest and taxes, that is EBIT, was $482 million and their interest payment was $732 million. So you can see they were not actually making enough to make the interest payment. And as a result, their interest coverage ratio was less than one at 0.66. This is definitely a red sign. In 2019, they improved their earnings um, in, this case, in this year they had $818 million earnings before paying interest and taxes, but their interest was still very high, approximately $800 million. So where, so they were actually making hardly enough to pay uh, their interest. Um, so as you can see, even before COVID, they were struggling to make their interest payment. And as soon as COVID hit, they lost $1.58 billion. So that's very significant. And they still had their interest payment uh, that was $606 million in 2020. 
and obviously they couldn't make it um, and had to file for uh, bankruptcy. So you can see that it's not just COVID. They were struggling way before COVID uh, with making their interest payment. And as soon as COVID hit and their earnings went down, they couldn't make it anymore and they had to file for bankruptcy. Okay, now we will analyze the interest coverage ratio for Coca-Cola and see how they are doing. So in 2018, uh, their earnings before interest and taxes was $9.2 billion and they had an interest expense of $950 million. So you can see they were making a lot more than their interest payment. And as a result, their interest coverage ratio for that year was 9.68. In 2019, their EBIT, earnings before interest and taxes, was um, $11.7 billion, and their interest expense was $946 million. So again, they were making a lot more, uh, actually 12.37 times more than their interest payment. So um, that's a very, very good sign. In 2020, um, their EBIT was $11.2 billion and their interest payment actually went up, but still um, it's very reasonable at $1.44 billion. So that means they were still making 7.78 times more than their interest payment, so which is a great sign. So you can see that this high interest coverage ratios, 9.68, 12.37, and 7.78, means that Coca-Cola as a company is in a very strong financial um, situation. And I don't see there is any risk of bankruptcy or not paying their interest um, payments um, anytime soon. So it's a very good sign. All right, so if you guys enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. And uh, I hope to see you guys in the next video and good luck with your journey.